Okay, YouTube. The jet sled, how does it work for dragging deer? Well, this is uh, about the fourth or fifth deer I've drug out the woods with this thing. And I thought no better time to shoot a quick review. Works really well for 100 pound does, flat ground. Um, does really good on leaves and hills. I will say some tips would be get you a rope uh, to, to kind of extend off those holes there. And then something to grab, uh, I got a stick here, but like a tree stand climbing stick works really well. Uphill, it can be a bear. Uh, just because it wants to slide and then on the downhill it wants to get momentum and go but this is probably my second favorite way to get deer out the woods um i've had some of those carts and i would tell people to avoid a one wheel cart it's like driving a wheelbarrow at the show they put 80 pound you know does in that thing and it works great but as soon as you put a big buck you'll you'll you know screw your forearms trying to get it out the woods just you know fatigue i would recommend a jet sled for anybody that, that kind of hunts alone and maybe has to to get deer out the woods and uh, take your time, enjoy it. Uh, I do an inchworm process where I drag, you know, a couple hundred yards, take a break, move my bag, move whatever, drag another hundred yards. So, oh, the other thing, it doubles for ice fishing or moving uh, yard waste, uh, firewood. So the jet sled is actually very versatile. I know people that will put it between two doors and change their clothes in the rain, you know, cause it's got like a, it's a plastic, it's a roof. Um, you can probably throw a bunch of ice in there and use it as a cooler for beers. I might do that tonight. So packing deer out is obviously my favorite, but uh, you know, for this one, I, I just gotta go downhill. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and do the jet sled and save myself some, some packing out today. Speaking to the other methods. So I, I have owned two deer carts and one was a two wheel bigger frame and it worked well uh single man wise uh, having a you know the big v and putting the weight over the wheels it did okay sometimes going uphill those wheel or yeah uphill those wheels want to roll back a little faster than you'd like and then i feel that the jet sled covers the small to medium sized logs a little easier because you don't have to lift up as high um i think a cart with two guys might be a really good option because you have two guys and sometimes those sticks get stuck in the spokes and it, it got, got hung up a time or two. The advantage too to the jet sled for maybe a private land guy, you could pull that thing with a four wheeler pretty easy and you wouldn't have to necessarily deadlift the buck on, or, or deer onto the, the back of the four wheeler. So you just have minimal ground to, to lift it up or minimal distance to lift it up to. Packing out does take a longer amount of time uh, initially to I've done this and it's a 20 to 30 minutes I guess if you're good if that time probably quickens but uh, that to me is easier to do now true I think you got to make a little more multiple trips uh, for somebody like myself that's a little easier Dave is on the, the, the mindset to go once and, and just pull heavy weight but he's also a lot bigger than I am oh quartering out animals isn't necessarily legal in every state that's a joke because I've been in some crevices or hills where physically I cannot scale by pulling, let's call it a 150 pound weight uh, behind me. Uh, I think if I had much more than 400 yard distance, I would lean towards the, the packing out and hillsides are always a, a factor. I can scale a hillside much easier with, with 50, 60 pounds on my back than pulling, um, let's call it 150 pound um, buck gutted. I will say the jet sled does not slide good on grass for some reason. It like grabs. So uh, if you have a uh, CRP, um, dead grass is fine, but like the, the greener, it like grabs the sled is the best way to describe it. So I would not recommend it if you're hunting. Uh, you guys, good luck this season and appreciate you watching. Team Harder and Bucks, we're out. This buck will be on our YouTube soon.